in Irving, Texas, between Dallas and Fort Worth. And another sellout crowd today for the Cowboys and the Redskins, one of the traditional rivalries of the NFL. Here are the standings in the NFC's Eastern Division. The Eagles, who at the moment lead Oakland 10-7 with just a couple of minutes to go. Dallas at 8-3, Washington at 3-8, and eight, but those records don't mean much in this series, does it? This is very important. Joe Theismann, he's hurt. He, he has a bad uh, hamstring muscle. This is Jerry Robinson, the Eagles, picking it up, and you'll see number seven, the very important part of the Redskins, trying to chase him, go to the left, and you can see him having to labor with that the right leg that's now strapped up today, and he will try to play, but he's got to be in there. Should point out, Tom, I think that uh, Theismann did warm up and didn't look like he was in too much pain. The Dallas Cowboys came back last week, as they've done so often this year. And this is action against St. Louis and Drew Pearson. It's fifth touchdown catch. And, of course, they're the highest scoring uh, football team in the National Football League right now. 29 points a game. And the Redskin defense will test that. The other Pearson. And good afternoon to you. I'm Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire, and I don't care what the records are. In this series, anything can happen. Well, if you're trying to, to classify an upset possibility, Washington has a very good secondary. Uh, uh, some people, Dick Vermeil said it's the best secondary in football. Uh, they will close off the pass. Uh, I think that Danny White will have to go to Dorsett and probably run the ball a lot. As we mentioned before, there is not much of a possibility of a letdown. I talked to Tom Landry, the <laughs> Dallas coach, and asked him if he thought maybe the Cowboys might let down against Washington. You looked good today, didn't you? Sure did. I don't think so. It'd be unusual if we ever had a game really where there was a letdown because the rivalry is so great, and uh, actually we enjoy playing the Redskins, and I'm sure they enjoy playing us. And uh, there's no love loss, so we we have a lot of fun out here today. You got a tough schedule coming up. Uh, would you rather finish on a high note like that, or would you rather finish with an easier schedule? Well, actually, what you want to do is to get into the playoffs. <laughs> That's the main thing, and you don't like to finish with the teams that we're going to finish with this year. But if we finish and play well against them, uh, then and get in the playoffs, we ought to be ready to make a run for it then. Jack Pardee was conspicuous by his silence. He had nothing to say. The Redskins struggling at three and eight. Hardy under a little bit of pressure in Washington. But this game. Coaches are can... under about as much pressure as commentators these days. <laughs> some commentators, some coaches. Mark Mosley will kick off for the Redskins. James Jones back in the middle for Dallas. Mosley with that strong, very strong leg of his. Kicks it high and keeps it up in the air a long time. It will be Jones. It's wet and slippery at Texas Stadium as Jones starts for the six. And he can get some things done. Jones down the sideline. Outside the 40, where Dallas will take over. Rick Walker made the tackle for Washington, but Jones, who is among the leaders in kickoff returns, adds to his average. He came in with almost a 23-yard kickoff average. Perhaps the one place that Ditka wanted to impress was kickoff return, get the good field position. He is a good-looking young running back and very strong. He takes it straight to people. Good block by Timmy Newsom to set up that return by Jones. First down, Dallas at their own 43. First play from scrimmage, Danny White, the quarterback. Some quarterback. What a great year he's having. Wow. Roger who, they say now. <laughs> Tony Dorsett swings to the outside. The Redskins have always been successful at shutting him down. He's averaged just 3.2 yards a carry in the series against Washington. Here is the Dallas offense. Donovan, Scott, Fitzgerald, Rafferty, Jim Cooper now is back at right tackle doing a good job. And, of course, Billy Joe Dupree will start in there at tight end. They can block. Two of the best wide receivers in football, Tony Hill and oh. Drew Pearson, Danny White, the quarterback, Dorsett, and Robert Newhouse, who has reclaimed his fullback job. Average five yards a carry last week against St. Louis. You don't notice him except that he blocks and does his job every week, doesn't he? No game for Dorsett, so it'll be second and ten. Dorsett and Newsom are now the running backs as Drew Pearson starts in motion. Dorsett again. And Tony behind good blocking, a good hole, gets about five. And Boy Bacon made the tackle. As we uh, look at the defensive lineup, we'll explain a couple of things. They're a down four. Lawrence, Dave Butts, by the way, one of the best defensive tackles anywhere in football. Smith having some problems at right tackle, and Coy Bacon is always an outside rusher. You can run inside of him. Dusek, Olkowitz, Monty Coleman, the linebackers, the secondary parish, Lavender, Peters, and Murphy. Superb secondary. They'll get on your man to man and really shut down your hot receiver. Dorsett got five, so it's third and five. 
Ron Springs down the backfield with Dorsett. Number 20 and number 33. Springs alone deep. Three wide receivers, including Butch Johnson. for Springs and he is racked by Tony Peters and Springs is down and so is the ball. Dallas will have to punt. Springs made a good pattern. He did a swing and fake to the outside like he was going to go toward the sidelines. But watch what happens. Peters is a young man that beat out Kenny Houston and he can play out of Oklahoma. A young secondary man who really nailed him. The man who throws is also the man who kicks. Danny White. Mike Nelms back deep for Washington. 23, uh, 21, standing back at the 10-yard line. White, good snap. And trying for the sidelines, and it looks like he'll do it. Oh, what a kick. At about the 9-yard line, it goes out of bounds. Benny Barnes, the first of the Dallas coverage, number 31. He'll start. Let's look at some other scores. 24-10. Detroit got it started finally again. Now they started the engine. They had been in a stall for a long time. But it looks like the depression's over in the Motor City. New England 47, Baltimore 21. Matt Cavanaugh started at quarterback. Burt Jones is not playing for Baltimore. That was the last we heard. We'll check some rest of the rest of the scores in just a minute. First down, Redskins. Looks like they've got big splits on the offensive line. They've Their got to try team. to run the ball, Pat, but they don't do it too well. Double tight ends, Walker and Warren. And Dallas. Let's go now to Brett Musburger and the NFL Today for a report. Thank you very much, Pat. Now, you just gave the final score that New England jumped all over Baltimore. This is how the game went. Nesby Glasgow coughing it up and a 22-yard fumble run into the end zone, and the Patriots were never had it. That was Ray Claiborne, 47-21 final New England. Let's go back to Pat Summerall. Patriots get it rolling after a stall last week against Los Angeles. Hardeman and Jackson, the running back. This is Wilbur Jackson. Benny Barnes closed the hole from the outside. Benny has reclaimed his starting job. Dean is in for Hermley, the left tackle. Saul, Cuzio, Jeff Williams, Stark. Fair offensive line. They even get caught for holding a lot these days with the new rules. And that's not easy to do. They got Warren as their tight end. Monk and Thompson, the wide receivers. Theismann, Jackson, and Clarence Harmon now. It'll be third and four for Washington at their own 16-yard line. No score. Opening minutes. Dallas, Washington. Ike Forte and Clarence Harmon now the running backs. That is Harmon. He will not get the first down. Just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Harvey Martin led the defensive charge the for Red, Dallas. The Redskins have a good short passing game. That is their passing game. Interesting on third and five. They were afraid to throw into the Dallas nickel this early. You can see that Harvey Martin just plays off Dean's block, gets into the play. Excellent pursuit by number 51. Connell, the kicker. Season's average 36, 37 plus. Deep man is James Jones, number 23. Pat, the Redskins have got to force a fumble to get into this game. They've got to do it with a good turnover break and try to get on the board early. Long count, good kick. Should be returned as Dallas comes back to try to set something up. And Jones, inside Washington territory, might go. Connell is the only man who has a chance, the punter. Jones down the sideline, knocked out of bounds by the kicker. He takes it straight up. That time he got hit on the hip pretty hard. He didn't go down and cut to the outside. That's a great punt return. Jones comes in averaging 10 yards of return on punts. And boy, you got to think quickly on your feet. Watch this run back. He'll take it straight up right now. Watch him get hit on the hip. Get rid of the tackle, slide to the outside. Hello there, you better get the troops and hustle up. That was Clarence Harmon who hit him and almost knocked him out of the rest of the coverage. Jones and a book on him. That average got better. 46 yard punt and a 52 yard return by James Jones. First and goal, Dallas at the nine. Dorsett. To about the six. 
Redskins shut him down there, led by Brad Dusak. The old Texas Aggie, he makes some play that time. He got tied up with Billy Joe Dupree and still got out and made it almost on the line of scrimmage. Remember those Washington defensive teams that used to come in here? They did it on contact and good, solid football, hard hitting, and somewhere along the line, this team has forgot to hit. Newhouse is the running back now alongside Tony Dorsett. Newhouse shifting. Danny White again to Dorsett inside the five to about the three. Olkowitz on defense for the Redskins. The linebackers are really active. Coleman, Olkowitz, and Brad Dusick are really a good-looking trio, and they do make good contact. Coleman's the leading solo tacker on the squad with 60 already. It is third and goal at the three as Washington changes to their goal line defense. Here's the last play. Watch the right part of your screen. Watch. Uh, well, we won't get a chance to see it, but that's big Dave Butts. And as you and I were talking about it, 6'6", 287, he might be one of the biggest, strongest guys in football. Tom Landry on the telephone with a new feather in his cap. Dorsett. Touchdown. Woo. Can he accelerate, huh? Tony Dorsett. He's wearing a flak jacket on those ribs on the one side. Now, don't ever think that he won't take punish, but that time he went straight ahead is his eighth touchdown rush into the year. Let's see how Fitzgerald and company operate. You're right on the line of scrimmage, folks. Watch this. He's not going to either side. It's straight ahead. Covered that ball up, protected it, too. Good block by Rafferty as he pulled behind Fitzgerald. The whole thing set up by that 52-yard punt return by James Jones. Charlie Waters holding for Raphael Septien. 7 nothing Dallas. He still hasn't missed an extra point this year, has he? Nine minutes, 51 seconds left in the first quarter, and Dallas breaks on top of Washington by the score of 7 to nothing. Hey, it's nice to be back. I'd say it is. The best barbecued beef in the world is right up here in this booth, huh? I'm going to order some wherever I go from now on. Room service. Mike Nelms, back deep for Washington. Septian will kick off for Dallas. Nelms in the middle. Back to Mike Forte. Zion McKinney. That's McKinney. That is Nelms. He was over there with McKinney. And that's what Washington's going to have to do to get in this game. They have got to get the run back. And, of course, right now, Dallas has turned their special teams the other way. That's a final score in Philadelphia now. The Eagles beat Oakland 10 to 7. That must have been some battle. The only touchdown by the Eagles, a three-yard run by Wilbert Montgomery. That's a final score, too, as those Browns continue to roll. 31-7 over Cincinnati. A long year there. That touchdown by Montgomery came with less than three minutes to go in Philadelphia, by the way. But the Eagles continue with the best record in football. Wilbur Jackson got some good blocking. Benny Barnes made the tackle. Jackson slow to get up. Clarence Harmon got a, a good block on Charlie Waters, the safety man that came up and met the play right away. But if you just try to make a living at running to Dallas, uh, you're just going to be right into the wind. Here it is. It's Newhouse goes to help seal off on Bucks and company. And Dorsett just split the crack right, right away fast. Second down for the Redskins. They need five. Buddy Hardeman and Wilbur Jackson. Running back to the Redskins. Spiceman still the quarterback. Gives to Jackson. Jackson gets perhaps one. Check some of the other scores. The Eagles 10-7 over the Raiders. That's the final. That's the one I just told you about. Of course, Philadelphia comes here for the last game of the season. Well, that ought to be some match. Buffalo 28. Steelers, 13. That's a little bit of a shock to a lot of people, I'm sure. Especially those in Pittsburgh. Coach Myers talking to the crew. Offensive line. And that is a good one. Quiet but efficient assistant is Jim Myers. Third and three. 25 left first quarter. I haven't seen a pass yet, have we? See one now. Heisman. 
Rolling, chased by Harvey Martin, and down he goes. Heisman with that bad hamstring, just not as agile as he might be. And Harvey's seventh sack of the year, a big one. This is what Heisman can do. He can roll and make your defense sort of go one way or another. He can make you overbalance. This time, Harvey stayed outside. Beats Dean's block, a rather feeble one. And get those hands up the way the Dallas linemen do. Big play. Jones back deep for Dallas again, standing back at his own 26-yard line. Another good kick. Jones, however, with another chance to return. Dallas setting up the wedge, but nothing doing this time. The Redskins, who traditionally have been so good on special teams, Monty Coleman, the first man down to tackle. And so at 7.39 left in the first quarter, Dallas leads Washington by the score of 7 to nothing. Jack Pardee, the ex-Texas Aggie, the head coach at Washington now. And Tom Landry, the ex-Texas Longhorn. He's only been here, what, 21 years? What if he's going to make it permanent? He might get some votes for the coach of the year. The rebuilding reclamation job he's done with the Cowboys. Coach of the century. Andy White looking deep. Throwing for Tony Hill. Got it. What a throw. And great pass protection allowed. Danny White to go back and wait for him to clear. He split the up man who was covering the corner up. That was Lavender. Boy, Tony Hill can get closer to the sidelines and catch it better than any darn receiver right now in football. Those of you who've been watching Atlanta defeat Chicago 28-17, welcome to Texas Stadium. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. It's the Cowboys and the Redskins. Here's Danny White, the last play. All right, there's... You can see Rafferty is working on Big Dave, but the throw is perfect. It just keeps the safety man from coming over and getting the corner right on the sidelines. First and 10, Dallas. Washington 45. Drew Pearson started in motion. This is Dorsett. Tony for about four. Carl Lorch led the Redskin defense. The way things are going right now, the Redskin defense has been uh, on the field for a lot of play. Of course, you get, if you get Dorsett all cranked up, you know, he's had back-to-back 100-yard -back rushing days. You get him some early success in the first or second quarter, and he can have a 200-yard rushing day. Second at five, those 17 100-yard days he's had since he's been a Cowboy, ties the Cowboy record. He's held by Calvin Hill. And you don't do it by yourself. you got to have good people up on that line of stand. You need a good quarterback to help you out. They've got one, Danny White. This is Newhouse, straight ahead. Looks like he's about a half yard short of a first down. Paul Smith made the tackle with some help from the rest of the Redskins. How about the attitude of Newhouse, though? Early in the year when Springs, the young Ohio Stater, had him beaten out, he didn't say much, did he? He just waited for a chance to play, didn't he? Mm-hmm. And quietly reclaimed, reclaimed that job that he had held for so long. Averaging right at four yards a shot, and he can block. It'll be third and two. You can see Dorsett on the right side of your picture. And notice that flak jacket that was mentioned before. They were. The new house shift over together. New house. Got the first down by about a half yard stopped by Jarris White. Some tackle by White, number 45. I mean, he hit him right on the line. That's going to be a very close measurement. Watch Newhouse just get to the outside. Donovan goes ahead and buries the defensive lineman. Newhouse makes that quick thing, and Jarris White makes himself some tackle. He's pretty close to the line with forward momentum, wasn't he? They're going to bring it in. And that gives us a chance to tell you that Fred Silva and his crew, Fred's the referee today, Ralph Moorcroft, Frank Glover, Jack Johnson, Jim Kearney, Jim Osborne, and Don Orr, the rest of his crew. First down, Dallas, Washington 35. Good play to throw on, perhaps, if you're as good a quarterback as Danny, and you've got Drew Pearson on one side and Tony Hill on the other. Tony Hill out to the left, Drew Pearson out to the right. Billy Joe Dupree. Tight end on the right side. White fakes to Dorsett. A 
and looks for some place to go and can't find it. Coy Bacon is the first Redskin there. Let's go for an update down to Brent Musburger in the NFL today. All right, Pat Summerall, the Philadelphia Eagles on this critical third down play against the Oakland Raiders. Pulled it out. Jaworski with an escape act. Went to Harris. Then Wilbur Montgomery scored from three yards out. And the Eagles pushed that record to 11-1, 10-7. Back to Pat Summerall. So the Eagles continue as the most successful team in professional football. Their record now is 11-1. I told you, they're the, they're the best prepared football team I've ever seen take the field. They've got a tough schedule. Last Down the stretch. Last sack was by Coy Bacon, his eighth of the year. White to Dorsett. On the draw, it was second and 16 when that play began, and again it's Coy Bacon who makes the tackle for Washington. Good play that time. He controlled Donovan, kept the play in front of him. Coy Bacon is the guy that we we call the thousand-year-old defensive end. Coy's about 38 at least, and he plays well wherever he's been, San Diego, Los Angeles, Cincinnati, and on given days, he can play anybody tough. Look at the play he makes here. Number 79, third and 16. Dallas has Butch Johnson and Preston Pearson in their lineup now. Three good wide receivers, and they operate from the shot. They're the best in the NFC in third down conversion. Right at 50%, Patrick. And Danny White calls a timeout. Official back deep in the secondary, Don Orr, dropped his yellow flag. Well, Danny's going to make sure the officials take that timeout, and Dallas did not want to burn one. Did burn one. Timeout was called. Timeout was called before the 30-second clock expired. They were saying that Danny White audible for five touchdowns in the first eight games this season. And that's how much faith Tom Landry, man you're looking at right there, has in this young quarterback. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Dallas Cowboys and the National Football League is prohibited. I loved it when Mosley was warming up, kicking field goals before the game and kicking them into the stands. I looked up and Tex Ram was going up there getting some of the balls back. <laughs> Unsuccessfully. <laughs> We'll be in Detroit Thanksgiving Day, as will the rest of us at CBS Sports for the Bears and the Lions. Billy Sims and Walter Payton. What a matchup that ought to be. That's what they've done so far this year. Thanksgiving is just a great football day. It always has been. Whether it's high school, college, or pros, huh? I understand that Payton was ejected from the game today against Atlanta. Because of a questionable fumble call. And I gotta believe that's the first time that's ever happened. Well, I've never seen him argue about anything. I've seen him run over people a lot. He ran over the official. Third and 16. 409 left first quarter. Ball is at the Washington 41. Dallas leading 7 up. Butch Johnson moves in motion. Danny White from the shotgun. Ball slipped out of his hand. Arm was an attempted yeah. forward pass. Arm was coming know. forward. Did somebody hit him? No, well, it looked like he got brushed, but it looked like he was trying to reload it. I, I, the coverage, again, is very good by, by this Redskin secondary, and they'll give you 30 different defensive formations. See, he tried to reload it, just lost it, but the arm was coming forward. Carl Lorch is the man who applied the pressure. Deep man is Mike Nelms for Washington, and Danny White will punt. But that always is something doubtful issue. He'll take a look and see if he has a chance to run. Oh, hold him. A high, high kick. He is hoping will bounce in his direction into the end zone. Washington will operate from their own 20 with 3.53 left first quarter. Dallas, after a 52-yard punt returned by James Jones, Dorsett scored, and the Cowboys lead the Redskins 7-0 in the first quarter. Tyson hadn't thrown the pass or completed one yet. What a comeback by Houston. 28 points in the last quarter, and that's not over yet. It's 28-28 at Shea Stadium. They're down 21-0. Tim Washington, Wilbur Jackson, Clarence Herman. Two running backs. Here is Theismann's first pass, batted down by D.D. Lewis. Nothing doing there. Let's go now to Brent Musburger for an update. 
Without the Pittsburgh Steelers are in danger of falling out of the playoff picture, and this is one of the plays they'll remember. Ferguson of Buffalo, and watch the catch by Jerry Butler in the end zone. Chuck Knox and the Bills put the Steelers away, 28-13, and the Steelers' record is now 7-5, and, and as you just pointed out, Houston has tied the Jets. Quickly back to Pat Summerall. Buffalo continues to roll. So does that Cowboy defense. That's John Dutton that came over and helped out and knock down Wilbur Jackson. Mike Hegman was with him. Ernie Stockner was saying before the game that to go from defensive end to defensive tackle like Dutton has done is one of the hardest transitions in all of football. You can go from a tackle and become a defensive end, but you put a defensive end inside, there are a lot of people around there, you know it? You have to read signs and be very sophisticated. As a rule, this is a change they make as Larry Cole comes in for Dutton now. Dutton plays the running downs, Cole the passing down. Pressure again is on, knocked away by Anthony Dickerson. Clarence Harmon, the intended receiver. Washington is taking the big splits on the offensive line of scrimmage, which is good, except that you can also pass rush against it. You have a lot of room. Now watch Randy White stunt, go to the outside. Cole takes two blockers, and Randy gets just enough pressure to where the ball was thrown almost at his leisure, not at Theismann's. Look on Mike. 6.5 is average today, but James Jones brought one of those back 52 yards to set up the Dallas touchdown. 306 left first quarter. Offside. Down. See what James does with this one. Let it roll and get away from it. Offside, I'm sure, against Washington. Bonnie Coleman, I believe. It was Coleman who jumped, and they'll bring it back and do it again. Man in motion on the punt. <laughs> You know, this team has been covering punts, the Redskins, about as well as anybody. I think the average is like five yards of punt return is all, and Jones is going to wreck that average today already. They have always been, under George Allen, under Jack Pardee, good on the special teams. Illegal motion, offense number 51, fourth down. First quarter score. That's the Seattle Seahawks against Denver, 7 0. Denver leading. Ben Harrison over on the Washington bench. Is that legal to tape over the shoes and everything? I guess so. We'll be soon if it's not already. They didn't have enough tape to keep me together when I played. <laughs> Jones again deep. Of course, accepted by Dallas. 2.53 left first quarter. Dallas up 7-0. Harmon checking things over and now backing out. Final punt. Dallas does not try to block it. Jones should have a chance with this one, too. And he does. Inside Redskin territory at the 47, where Dallas will operate. They've had why, good location every time they've gotten the football. Why Saki gave him a good shot on that one. Good coverage. 7-0. Cowboys over the Redskins. Texas Stadium. Dallas leading Washington 7-0 with 2.43 left first quarter. That summer all the time, Berkshire. Danny White is one of three. He's had a ball. He's been sacked. He's had a ball fall out of his hand. He's not doing too well with this Washington secondary. He's one of the best secondary. But teams have been able to run against Washington in recent weeks. Double tight end set up for Dallas. Saudi and Dupree both in the game. Here's White. Now the middle in front of the house and got the house. About the 32, Monty Coleman made the tackle. Newhouse only about 5'8", not that big a target. And the great thing is that he's the blocker. If you put him in there, they're looking for Dorsett. They're trying to make sure the most dangerous receiver is covered. Let's see how many uh, Newhouse has caught. That was his sixth catch of the year. You have to throw it pretty low to get it to him, don't you? <laughs> Jay Saldi checks out, and Doug Cosby comes in, number 84. The career for White against Washington. Newhouse, this direction. Newhouse. 
pass inside the 25 to about the 23. Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have a new song. It's called what? I love the Dallas Cowboys. Very original. The Washington 23 when that began. Clock running just over a minute left to play in the first quarter, and Dallas leading Washington 7 0. Jay Salby comes in, number 87, to check in with Danny White. You know, intensity level is really high for the Cowboys, Patrick. Uh, you think they might come in here and think, well, we can blow this team out and maybe get a little lethargic, but they look to me like they are humming high and wide. Of course, they're very aware of what happened in Philadelphia, and the Eagles continue to lead them right now. Cowboys began today 8-3. So they've got to win to keep pace. White. Screen pass. Should be successful. Newhouse inside the 10 to about the 6. Paul Smith chased him down, but well set up. A great play, but a great defensive play by Paul Smith. The defensive tackle smelled it when he didn't get much contact on the line of scrimmage and chased it all away from the line of scrimmage around. Good offensive play, but an outstanding defensive effort. Here the screen is. They'll engage, make it look real, then let the lineman on through. See, now they're going out to set out. Rafferty's out there now. Watch number 78. He stays right with it. Scott's out in front, but Newhouse doesn't know he's got trouble behind. That's the last offensive operation of quarter number one. Good block by John Fitzgerald, too, who's out in front of that play. 7-0 Dallas at the end of quarter one, number one at Texas Stadium. Stadium in New York with a score Houston 28, the New York Jets 28. First quarter, Pat, uh, the Redskins had the ball offensively for nine plays. Dallas has it now. First and goal at the five. First play of quarter number two. Doug Cosby, Jay Saldi, and Billy Joe Dupree. Three tight ends now. Saldi in motion to the outside trap move new house. Down to about the two. Perry Brooks is the first Redskin to make contact. You know, when you get into time of possession and all, it looks like a statistic that doesn't mean anything. But the Cowboys have been having the ball 12 minutes more than their opponents the entire season. Almost an extra quarter. They've got the football. No wonder they're eight and three. It's hard to score without it. Second and goal from the two for Dallas. Seven to nothing. Ron Springs blocking back. Corset, corset barrels down to about the half yard line. Dave Butts was sitting right in the hole waiting for him that time. We told you Butts goes about 287, number 65 in the left part of your screen. Takes Fitzgerald's block. Watch him seal off. Well, that is tough. A big body to be curling around like that. Remember how mad he got at us because we thought he had small feet? Adjustment. I know that. I said you can have 16 triple A's. I don't care. <laughs> Third and goal from the one. Goes set in Newhouse now. Back. Danny White on a quarterback sneak. Redskins are saying fumble. Washington says we have it. Look at that pile of players. Officials are trying to can never get them separated. One of the officials in the middle of it now. Like a crap game for a minute. With no winners. <laughs> At about the one foot line. And Landry, Tom Landry, that is, has decided we'll go for it. Fitzgerald, the snap, butts underneath the pile. And he did a good job again. That would have been White's first touchdown rushing this year. He didn't get it. Newhouse goes out. Newsom comes in. Timmy Newsom, the rookie, the biggest of the Dallas running backs. He goes about 230. Got to get him aimed in the right direction, right? Fourth down. Out of foot. Dorsett's back there with him. Newsom, straight ahead, and I don't think he got it. I don't believe he got it. 
started. Well, that's some goal line stand. And that is going to really pick up the Redskins team. That'll help the offense more than you would believe. Who's on the bottom this time, Pat? Brooks and Butts. Brooks and Butts. They're a pair of bookends for you. I'm telling you, that is some defensive charge. He didn't even get close. He may have lost a foot. He didn't get it. You've got to break that plane, that imaginary one that we talked about so many times, and he didn't even scratch it. The goal line stand by Washington. Watch Butts, number 65, get the penetration. Everybody got low, and then the Motla people come over the top. That's a great play. Peters and Murphy both over the top to knock Newsom back. Washington will kick over at their one foot line. Joe Theismann, the quarterback. That's Clarence Harmon, and he's knocked backwards. Bob Brunig, the middle linebacker, was the first man to hit him with help from Tutal Jones. Pat, the Redskins have that short passing offense that we've been talking about. We haven't seen it because Theismann hasn't had a chance to do much with the football, but they have takeoff patterns off almost every short pattern. And once in a while, Ricky Thompson will run an inside bend and then take it up. And it looks to me like Theismann's going to have to do that to loosen up the secondary for Dallas. It'll be second and nine as Buddy Hardiman comes in in place of Clarence Harmon. And he's back there with Grover Jackson. To the four, just shy of the five, make it. Aaron Mitchell made the tackle on Hardeman. Theismann's playing with that hamstring all wrapped and all. And if you've never had one, folks, you don't know what it is. It feels great until you make a quick, sudden move. And he's going to have to worry about that quick move against a big rush. It'll be third and six as Ike Forte joins Clarence Harmon. And the Redskins backfield. 50 left in the first half, and Dallas leading 7 0. Mike Forte to the 5. Hagman made a great play, number 58, Pat. You can't string the play out any better than that and then make the tackle yourself. Watch what happens to the right of your screen. The picture will tell you this story. Watch this to the right. Hegman keeps playing off blocker, one blocker after another, maintains his control of it, and then makes the tackle himself. Here comes Randy White by. That is an excellent defensive play by a linebacker. Right behind Mike Connell, the kicker. And if he steps out of the end zone, it's a safety. He's got himself about a half yard cushion. Good kick. Oh. Fine kick. Penalty marker down. Jones retreats into his own territory and slips down at the 44. Penalty flag down, however. That was some punt. Good coverage. And Pat, you said earlier, it is damp. It's been sort of misty for the last couple of days, and the rug is slippery down there. And the conference goes on. Dallas would have the football at the Washington 44-yard line, first and 10, if they decide to go ahead with whatever happens here. The discussion continues, and Fred Silva would let us know what's happening. Double foul, 34, white, holding, 22, Redskins, personal foul, replay. Double foul, replay. We put a young man in the same situation. He'll still be close to that back line, but that was some punny just rooted out of that time. Chase Jones all the way back into his own territory, and you remember he was standing about a half yard from the back edge of the end zone. What do you do now? Put some pressure and try to block it if you're playing defense? I doubt it. They didn't that time. Just try to set up a return. They had a pretty good wall set up on the far side of the field, but Jones slipped down. Just hope you hit another one as well as you hit that one. Those hands have got to get a little clammy and sweaty, right? Not as good a kick. But the result might be better. Oh, that turnaround. Washington picked up about 
four or five yards. And Dallas takes over first and ten in Redskin territory. A little discussion continues between some of the rival players. Thought we'd never get it today. Seven to nothing. Dallas over Washington in the second quarter. Texas Stadium in Dallas. Irving, more correctly, the home of the Dallas Cowboys. Matt Skins had the ball for five minutes and 32 seconds in the first quarter. They do not have a first down. And you're right, their defense is on the field a lot. 10.38 left in the first half. And no first down for Washington. Ron Springs and Tony Dorsett in the backfield. Salvi, Lamar Parrish picked it off in the Redskins take over. Let's go down to Brent Musburger in the NFL today. All right, Pat, thank you very much. Four minutes into overtime, Pat Leahy kicks this 38-yard field goal and the New York Jets down the Houston Oilers 31-28. Leahy missed a 36-yarder with six seconds to go in regulation time. The Jets a winner, a big loss for Houston. Back to Pat Summerall. Just picked it off for Washington. One of the best. This was a, a deep sideline by Drew Pearson. And Lamar Parrish is as good a solo coverage man as you'll ever have. That's a great play. Heisman drops and throws. Caught on the far sideline by Art Monk over the head of Aaron Mitchell. He's the young rookie, the number one draft choice that Bobby Beathard got out of Syracuse. They're going to call it back, I think. They say he didn't have both feet down in bounds. Good looking throw. Monk has six foot two inch height. I'm told that his patterns right now are still a young man's. He must have run out of bounds and then come back in to make the catch. The official was right there looking down the line. That's exactly what happened because he did get both feet down in bounds. But once you leave on offense, you can't come back and be eligible. It's okay on defense. Some catch, though. He's quite a receiver. He has 44 catches coming in. Really coming on. So it'll be second and 10. Their own 36 for the Redskins. Dallas up by seven. Jackson. Bangs out for about eight. Charlie Waters made the tackle. Shy of a first down. Green Bay 19. Minnesota 13 in the fourth quarter. It's a comeback story. And Mark Starr has done some job with the Packers. Seattle a field goal now. They still trail Denver, however, 7-3. to three. Young Cowboy fans. First big season for her, huh? Think she knows it's 7 to nothing. Mama will tell her, I bet you. Third and one. Heisman's going to throw and throws quickly outside. Caught. Art Monk again, and that'll be enough for a Washington first down, the first one. A good short outside pattern. Heisman looks like he's throwing it pretty well, but you notice that he has to get away from arms and legs to throw the ball on every reception, every attempt. The Dallas linemen are very good at getting in, get penetration, and get those big arms up. Take it up inside, it gets closed off. Two tall Jones had overrun it, they took him on down. And now you got a little bit of a problem. George Stark was blocking on two tall. Good looking run here in the secondary, had to really get over there and close it off because he was wide open when he broke the line of scrimmage. That block by Stark was really the key to the whole thing. That's what Jackson has done, and he just improved his efforts. Line up first of all with three backs. doing there. Let's go now to Brent Musburger in the NFL today. 
right, Pat, Joe Montana in San Francisco against your former team, the New York Giants. What started out as a routine play broke loose for the Niners. Rookie Earl Cooper from Rice got the job done, a 66-yard touchdown, and the 49ers strike first on the Giants, 7-0. Back to you, Pat. At Texas Stadium, Redskins on the move, 740 left second quarter. Second and 12 it is. Dallas leading 7-0. Ike Forte split out wide to the left, and there's some confusion as far as Washington is concerned, and Theismann has called a timeout. How about too tall Jones? A little embarrassed on the play before on the long Jackson run. That last play, he knifed in and took half the offensive line with him making a tackle. <laughs> too tall in conversation at the moment with Harvey Martin. How about the, uh, the, the draft trading and all? The year when Gil Brandt got two tall Jones and Danny White for Toby Smith and Billy Parks. Not too bad a deal. 7 nothing here for Sopardi and Joe Walton. Outstanding. Seven and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Theismann is one of four for three yards. That was for that first down to Art Monk. And that is the only first down. No, I beg your pardon. Wilbur Jackson got the second one with that run of his a minute ago. Second and 12. Art Monk swings over in motion. Theismann brings it back to Clarence Harmon. Randy White makes sure that nothing develops out of that. And some receivers going downfield. It looked like they were really thinking that they were going to catch the Dallas team preparing for a pass that didn't exist. But this draw went nowhere. Mr. White, Randy White, was the one that showed up, huh? Green Bay 25, Minnesota 13. Packers, as Tom was mentioning a minute ago, have really turned things around. Kansas City, another team that has turned things around. 21-13. Third and 13 here as Theismann looks around. grounding but there's no penalty marker but he was already in the grasp of the defender and these days once you grasp the quarterback the play is over again this was an audible call at the line of scrimmage it's a short out it was covered and now somebody that's six foot eight or nine inches tall comes in and you do what you have to do <laughs> you fall down quickly it's tough lonely work right mark mosley with Theismann holding. It's five of his last six, and he hasn't kicked one or tried one in three games. Mosley with that remarkable leg. Trails it straight and good. Mark Mosley puts the Redskins on the scoreboard. It is 7-3 Dallas with six minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the first half. If anybody was expect expecting a Dallas runaway, they were wrong. Jones is number 23. Mark Mosley will kick off for Washington. For years, you know, the, uh, the Cowboys had been accusing Mosley of wearing illegal equipment, having an oversized, juiced-up leg of some kind. But the Cowboys staff coached the Pro Bowl last year, and Mark was there. And he did the same thing after their inspection. So they accepted him now. He's glad he's got those new socks on so he doesn't get fined anymore. Jones at the one. Jones banks out to about the 21. Jarris White. Mike Nelms down for the Redskins. The Redskins scoring drive, eight plays, the big play, the one by Jackson. 48 yards, 34-yard field goal by Mosley puts him on the board. And the goal line stand just completely changed the, the tenor of the game, didn't it? They, the Redskin defense got off the field, which is something all defensive players have tried to do, and the offense finally got it moving. Dallas has a new offensive center, Bob Shaw, has replaced Fitzgerald. I think that was a plan going in. It doesn't mean that anything is wrong with Fitz. Around the outside, tripped up by Dusak. Dusak that time caught Rafferty, who was pulling on him, number 64, one of the best pulling guards around. Watch Dusak come up, take care of the outside take on the guard, and then get outside and somehow trip up Dorsett. And those are fast feet. That's some play there. Dusek is 59. 
It'll be second and 11. Ball at the Dallas 21. Just over six minutes left in the first half. It's Dallas seven. Washington three. Danny White had five interceptions against the Giants. Yes. And that's 38-35 loss. Tough secondary he's working with now. Here's the Hill posted it wide to the right. This is Newhouse. To about the 24. Harry Brooks, who along with Dave Butts is having a big game, makes the tackle for the Redskins. They play pretty good third down defense. There's Richie Pettibone who's in charge of that secondary and all right there next to Party. And these guys will bring in the nickel people and they'll play inside and out and it's a different coverage every time you come down. Richie is a pretty good secondary man himself. Big too. With the Bears. Quarterback at Tulane. Third and eight. Salvi in the flank to the right. Keep in mind number 26. Preston Pearson standing back there with White. Now in a three-point stance, and White wasn't happy with his offensive alignment and uses his second Dallas timeout. That means they have only one left with 5.08 left in the first half. He and Jay Saldy were sort of looking at one another like Jay was on the wrong side. He was sort of slotted to the right, and I think he was supposed to be to the left. That is a final score. Green Bay 25, Minnesota 13, Detroit won today. So their record would be 7-5. and five. The Packers 5-6-1, and one, and certainly not out of the playoff picture at all. How about Lynn Dickey? Is that one of the great success stories of all time, coming back to quarterback the way he has? There's a guy who kept Blue Cross in business for years. <laughs> we saw him play Pittsburgh, and they gave the Steelers all they could handle. Thanksgiving Day, we'll have some updates on what happens in that goofy division. <laughs> the Bears against Detroit at the stadium in Pontiac. Billy Sims against Walter Payton and the rest of the Bears. Thanksgiving Day. And the wild card team probably would play up there, right? Should it be maybe Dallas, huh? At the Silver Dome. I hope they have us a turkey there. We never get a chance to have the bird. Usually the people in the booth eat it before we get a chance to. That's a small booth. And small turkeys. Third and eight. 508 left. Ball at the 24. 508 left, that is, in the first half. 26. He's back there with White. Preston Pearson. Butch Johnson spins in motion. Redskins with a three-man rush to Butch Johnson. He dives, can't come up with it. Jarris White, the defender, number 45. Redskins starting to play left, play better. That time, Dave Butts took on two blockers and finally a third one and drove them all right back into Danny White's lap. The big fellow just put his head down, lined up in the over position on the center, and, and just took it right into the quarterback. Butts just got a congratulatory pat from Jack Pardee. He recognizes what a good job he's doing. Danny White back to punt for Dallas. Mike Nelms back deep for Washington. White doesn't hit this one. Nelms runs into his own man and the football takes a cowboy bat. Lucky thing was it didn't touch anybody. If it had hit either one of them, it would have been a, a ball you could fall on and capture. This collision. Sometimes when you're three and eight, these things happen. He's trying to give some help. Instead, it really it becomes a pain. <laughs> That's Monty Coleman that was back there furnishing the pain. Next Sunday here on CBS, St. Louis, the Giants, Washington will be at Atlanta, Minnesota, New Orleans, Tampa Bay against Green Bay, and Philadelphia at San Diego. Hello. That'll be some battle. First and ten. his tight end Dunn Warren shy of a first down by Charlie Waters. Good play by Waters but a great throw by Joe Thies when he really squeezed that baby off. That was a tight spiral hot but handled well. Pretty good fake he put on too. He got the heat off of him. Got the big fellas worrying about the fake. By the way we gave you that score of Philadelphia's win over Oakland today. 10-7. That clinches at least a wild card spot for the Eagles. So they'll be in the playoffs. They're not satisfied with a wild card spot. Vermeil wants to win that division and take them as far as he can take them. Second and three. At the 37. Wilbur Jackson will not get the first down. The Redskins are beginning to pop out there now, aren't they? John Dutton over to make the tackle. 
But yes, they are. In fact, one of them's down right now. Is that Dean, the big tackle, the left tackle? I think it's Jeff Williams, or is it Dean? Because Hermeling's in, number 75 is in. He's had a bad finger for two weeks, and this is the... That is Fred Dean. Yeah, this is the young man from SC who's a very fine young prospect and has played both tackles, played guard. He's done everything for the Skins. 49ers over the Giants, 9-0, second quarter in San Francisco. Here at Texas Stadium, it's the Dallas Cowboys 7, the Washington Redskins 3, with 3.58 left before halftime. There's the 253-pounder from Texas Southern. I may have said Southern California by mistake, but you can see that Saul is blocking on Randy White and actually sort of gets whipped around and, and catches his own teammate on the leg there. Third and one for Washington. Dallas leading 7-3 on it. Misty. think he got the first down. Short yardage defense, and I'm telling you, Dallas was down with seven people right on the line and tight. Let's see the charge, see who's in there. That's Randy White, you can see right in the middle. Dutton's just to his left. Harvey Martin to the right. And Ed Tutal Jones, uppermost in the picture. Let's see the charge. Boy, Tutal got good penetration. Here comes 54 sticking his helmet through. Randy White. Uh, some play, huh? That was the Craig Morton trade. That's how they got Randy White here as the number one. Bob Brunick with the assist. James Jones back deep for Dallas. Connell to keep for the Redskins. Oh, what a shot this is. Jones retreats all the way back to his 13-yard line. Looks for some place to go, can't find it. Rick Walker. It's the first man down, and what a job the Redskins are doing now after Jones broke one earlier. Dallas will take over first and 10 at their own 16. What a kicker young Connell is out of Cincinnati. He's been booming him under pressure and getting good coverage now. Dandy White is 3 of 7 for 54 yards and the interception. And right now, the Dallas offense is sort of floating. Washington inspired by that goal line stand. Redskins have minus one yard passing in the first half. Newhouse straight ahead. Stopped by Perry Brooks again. Less than three left in the first half. 7-3 Dallas. Murphy, the tight safety man, number 29, is the one that gets the defensive signal relayed to him. And, you know, it's great to have the secondary guys involved with the call. That way they can protect themselves. Murphy's quite a player. Good hitter. Second and six with 2.30 left first half. Second and five make it. Dallas with one timeout left. A slip screen outside of Drew Pearson, who last week broke the all-time Cowboy team record that had been held by Bullet Bob Hayes. Incredible. Pearson's first catch, Joe Lavender, though, really had to play red. The incredible statistic on both Hayes and Drew Pearson is Drew Pearson, every 10th catch has been a touchdown. That's his average, like 31-some-odd touchdowns. Bob Hayes had 73 touchdowns in 365 catches. That's, that's a high percentage of TVs. That is phenomenal. Not too many people could run with Bob Hayes. Not even those Russians. Third down and one. 221 left first half. Dorsett will try for the first down. Lost the football. Washington has it back. Jarris White picked it up. Dorsett almost broke it. Washington has the football. All of their timeouts remain. A little bit of an altercation on the run back. Remember, this is only the 11th fumble that the Cowboys have lost all year. And Dorsett has cut down his ratio. I think he's only coughed the ball up five times. This time, he really loses one. It looks like a big gainer. Let's see if he's carrying it well. Yeah, he just gets it squeezed out. Maybe the flak jacket bothers him. He might have been trying to change hands with the football, too. And he got hit when he was making that effort. At the 37, Washington in good shape. They trail by four. Joe 
Jackson goes right to work. Takes to the first. Looks for Jackson. Hits Jackson. He can't hang on. Dennis Thurman was there, but that ball was catchable, and Jackson, nobody knows it more than Wilbur. And the ball was thrown well and pretty good pass blocking. There were not a lot of people in there in the pocket. Let's watch that protection. Hermling's down at left tackle at Saul 64. Kuzil's 54. Harmon stayed in and picked up the outside man that was making a move, Harvey Martin. That ball's right on the mark. That's a good throw. Vision might have been blocked a little bit. 10 10 between Seattle and Denver. So it'll be second down and 10 at the 37. Have a two minute warning after this play. Heisman. Kenny Harris in the recep reception, knocked out of bounds by Benny Barnes. And Pat, on that side of the field, when Ed Tutal Jones comes in and then puts his arms up, he cuts the sunlight out and be able to throw it through the hands and all. I don't know how Joe Theismann got it through there that time. Excellent throw, another one. Here's Big Ed. First down, Redskins, 2.03 left. They will have, as that play went out of bounds, a chance to run one more play before the two-minute point. Left, 26-yard line better. Clarence Harmon, the ball carrier. Not much. And they've got Mosley there. They can always, anytime they get from the 40 on in, he is deadly. And they've had him try seven uh, field goals from over 50 yards this year, which shows you how desperate sometimes the offense has been. Whistling Ray. Warning. But for Ray, there is no warning. He's got some good magic tricks, hasn't he? When he almost burned my coat up, showed me how to put a cigarette out of it. <laughs> By the way, I mentioned earlier about Walter Payton being uh, ejected from the game today against Atlanta. We'll have all the highlights from around the week. All right, Ray. At the half with Britton Irv. We'll also see what did happen to Walter Payton and why he was ejected from that game. Heisman and Pardee on the left side of your picture. Why does Whistling Ray whistle? That is our big question of the day, right? I don't know how he does it. <laughs> what are they jotting down, Patrick? Do you know what they're doing? Yeah, I think I do. Are they reporting on each other? Maybe they're evaluating one another. No, they're saying, they're writing down, each one of them making a notation as to who can call a timeout within the last two minutes of either half. Guy six. Second and six. Ball at the 22-yard line. Thompson, the receiver. Mike Hegman, the tackler. 255 is what he called out. It might be a dummy, though. That might have been the one they called from the bench. Could be, although he looked both directions when he called it. Theisman always checks with receivers when they come back. Some quarterbacks are so busy they don't get a chance to, but I notice he always checks with whomever's running a different pattern. What you have, what kind of coverage did you get? It's a third down. Number 62, as reported, he's lined up to the left-hand side of your picture as a tight end, but he is an eligible receiver. Harmon wrestled down outside the 15-yard line by Aaron Mitchell. Good play by D.D. Lewis, too. He forced it early. Got part of the ball carrier. It's going to be an awfully close call. That was some defense. Theismann coming over to check. To see if they got a first down or not, surveying things, and they are going to measure. Dennis Thurman for the defense. Prosecutor for the prosecution. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's really matured though as a person, has he too? As a quarterback and runs the team. He's quite an athlete. Yep. And they got it. First down, Redskins. 106 left first half. Line of scrimmage is 17. Here's the first down effort by Harmon. A lot of hair pulling on this one. It's a short yard. You see D.D. Lewis, number 50, playing off. He'll get part of it. Aaron Mitchell comes up, makes a strong tackle high where he had to take him. It is 
It's a first down Redskins. Clock running, less than a minute left to play. Redskins still have two timeouts left. They had trips right. They had three receivers on the right side of the formation. I believe he's going to have to come out of there. That's a final score. Kansas City 21, St. Louis 13. Redskins used another timeout. They have only one left. As Theismann comes over, and I don't know if he has to come out or not. All right, Krushak is the young quarterback obtained from Pittsburgh that would move in. Let's look at it. You can see all those receivers to the top of the screen. Watch 78 come piling in there low. And then he gets a little help. Boy, that's help. There's Dutton that hit him and knocked him off balance. And then Hegman arrived on the scene after that. What kind of range are we for Mosley now? This would be a... It would be... 40 uh, yard field goal. 40 over. yards, 41 perhaps. And that's his range. At least. He's 5 of 7 out to the 40. Tom Landry with another new coat. Kruzek <laughs> is loosening up over in front of the Washington bench. How about those old films that they showed on Tex Rams show this morning here of Tom Landry as the football player. Running back an interception at the Polo Grounds in New York when he was with the Giants. Looked like tin type stuff. The film was so old looking, wasn't it? Well, that was one of the great secondaries. That was the original umbrella. Emlyn Tunnell. Otto Schnellenbarker. Kruzak, three out of four, 19 yards. Good drop back passer, though, with great feet. He's sort of a stylus in that he won't scramble around like this man can do when he's healthy. 6'1", 205 from Boston College. But he sets up. He's firm with it. Theismann over behind the Redskin bench, still trying to stretch out that hamstring. He's just having trouble walking. Kruzek, the quarterback. Second down. 18 to go. At the 24. Thompson's in motion. Kruzek scrambles away as penalty markers go down in all directions. Look like Stark or somebody on the right side moved. Of course, the defense is allowed to jitterbug a little bit and try to draw you off. That's about all they allow the defense to do anymore. Jitterbug. Can't hit anybody. Offense, number 74, ball start. 74, George Stark. Maintain your balance, right? Got a little foot drop back there early. 49ers picked up another field goal, and they now lead the Giants 12 to nothing. Second quarter. They had to be just about due. Second and 23 now. Back at the 29 yard line. And Jackson, the running backs behind Mike Kruzek. Jackson. Hardy Martin takes down just about wow. takes him out of field goal range. His second sack of the day, and Hardy Martin has come to play. And nobody could put a rush on like, like Harvey. Third round draft choice out of East Texas State. And he says he has to prove himself every day. He's almost like the airline commercial. Watch this move. He didn't take the fake, did he? You're right, it's going to be a 56-yard field goal if they try this one. Uh, timeout, Redskins, and that's the last one they have in this half. Dallas is stunning on defense. They thought they would fool Harvey Martin and have him chasing down inside, and this time they failed. It's Joe Walton there, the offensive coordinator for Party. Quite a man. He really knows a lot about football. He's a very fine coach. Usually has his cap on backwards. So that may be a basic change. A little rain in the air. Maybe one of the. Could be. Third and 34 with 35 seconds left in the first half. It is Dallas 7, Washington 3. Dallas came in with a record of 8 and 3, Washington 3 and 8. But in this series, records little significance. Are you looking for a screen pass of some kind? 
get you to the sidelines. He can stop the clock, do those things for you at the same time. They have no timeouts left. Right. So screen pass wouldn't be a bad move on third down. They need a few to get Mosley back in range. Here's up to the quarterback. at the quarterback. We were talking once to Jerry Wampler with the Eagles, the offensive line person, the coach. He says that when Tutal makes his move, he backs you away from doing anything to the right side. And watch the top of your screen. Watch 72. Because Harvey Martin is going to take the wide bend to make a shot. Look at Ed Tutal coming right over Stark, and there's nowhere to go. He cuts off all avenues of escape. And now Dallas takes a timeout. It is fourth and 46. A fairly decent defensive series for unless, Dallas. Unless we can fly in Tom Dempsey, I think a field goal is out of the question. <laughs> I think it's too overcast. 29 seconds left to play in the first half as Tom Landry watches that defense operate and operate very effectively. Jones goes over, and that's Mike Ditka he's talking to. Remember, they've redone the whole secondary. Yeah. Waters wasn't here last year. Mitchell was playing part-time on nickel defenses. Of course, Randy Hughes was activated and now can start playing again, but Benny Barnes was hurt with the appendectomy and is just now playing again. Jones standing back at the 10-yard line. Mike Connell to do the punting for Washington. Trail 7-3. We're going to try to block this one. They don't get it. And another good kick. Bouncing into the end zone and out. Marty Coleman down with a one-handed nonchalant grab. Can he run? They said he caught one of those on the fly earlier in the year and put it down on the one. The Dallas will take over. First and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Long way to go. No timeouts left. What you don't want is a turnover if you're on the offense right now. You don't want to give the skins one more shot to get on the board. Or set a new house. Clock out. Newhouse can stumble around for 20 seconds before they'll get him down. That should be the last play of the first half. And a much tougher first half than I think many imagined. Cowboys seven, Redskins three. They head for the locker room. Another half of football to go. And the Cowboys, of course, already aware that the Eagles beaten open today and they must win here. Cowboys ended up with four sacks. So there's actually a minus 16 on the passing yardage for the Skins in that first half. Last time Washington had the ball, they wound up with fourth and 46. This will be Raphael Septi and Mike Nelms back in the middle. Washington, a line drive kick in his direction. Nelms. Pretty close to it, it looked like, but he couldn't fall on it before. Uh, who did come up with that? Here's Nelms out of Canadian Football League and a very fine run back person, but he, he is carrying it like the proverbial watermelon out of the patch. Buddy Hardeman, I think, is the man who made the recovery. So it'll be first down at the 30 for Washington. 7 3 Dallas leading. First place from scrimmage in quarter number three. are gone now. Dallas goes into the flex. Wilbur Jackson cuts back for good yardage on the left side. Bob Brunick made the tackle, but Jackson got about eight or nine. Really handled Harvey Martin that time. They really took him, did away with him. And the time, the, that bottom line now is beginning to even out. Possession time, 16 for Dallas, now 13 for Washington. That yards passing for Washington. Minor 
Atlanta's 16, and only 53 for Dallas. Second and one, nine yards for Wilbur Jackson. Most of the yardage rushing for the skins was the long run by Wilbur Jackson. By Jackson. It's Jackson again looking and coming up with a first down, I believe, just across the 40, Harvey Martin. Was the one who wrestled him to the ground. When you can rush the football a, a little bit even, it really helps everything. If you end up third to seven or third to eight all the time, uh, it is just very tough to do anything against a defense man that the position that the Dallas team has. If, they, if you get into the nickel deal against them, they'll, they'll run you out of the stadium. Uh, first down, Washington, 13-40, left to play in the third quarter. Mark Mosley, who has the only risk in points. Territory knocked out of bounds by Charlie Waters. Rick Walker, the other tight end, did a good job on Harvey Martin that time. Watch the right part of your screen. They ran at the flex, they kept Harvey Martin inside, they buried Randy White inside, and this fellow bounced right outside. They found something. There must have been some chalk flying at halftime. Waters nudged him out of bounds. Aaron Mitchell hit him first. Jackson with good balance. That's not a bad first down play. Strong young person. I saw him coming out earlier about an, an hour before anybody else did, and he just stood in the entranceway and looked out at the field, uh, thinking he would have to play a lot because of Theismann's injury, and he's certainly right. I don't see Theismann on the sideline even. Not bad for CBS. Took me a long time to do that last night. <laughs> Just over 13 minutes left to play third quarter in Washington with by far their best offensive effort of the day. Dave Butts over on the Washington sideline stretching those hamstrings out. Oh, he's playing some football right now. He really is. He's, he's not in the Pro Bowl. Something's wrong. Right. He's, he cost the uh, Redskins two number ones and a number two pick to St. Louis. And he's playing like he's really working plus all that special equipment. Third and three. Ike Forte scrambling with the football. Will not get the first down, only a yard or so. Redskins send in their punter, Mike Connell. Dallas will send James Jones back deep, the most exciting punt returner they've had here in a long time. Redskins averaging like 14 points a game on offense coming in. It's, you've got to play super defense to win any game at that rate. Their record, of course, three and eight. Defense has been good. But a little too much tax break. Seconds left on the 30 second clock when they snap it. Another good kick. They might be able to down this one. Body Coleman down underneath, along with some other Redskins, and they knock it into the end zone. Wow. Touch back to bring it back to the 20. They had every chance in the world to down that one. Don't we'll forget why Sock is the boxing gloves. He is number 50. 7 3. Dallas still. Joe Walton with quarterback Mike Kruzek, and there is Joe Theismann, who's back in the on the sideline, but in the warm-up jacket. Where's the ball just a minute ago, and Wysocki down chasing? Remember, it's on the rug, and it goes in different directions, and Pete's got his hands all taped up like a cast almost. Mike Forte was there with him, Tony Dorsett and Robert Newhouse, the running backs for Dallas. Hugh Pearson in motion. The block by Newhouse does something for Dorsett. And he gets a couple out of it. Carl Lorch knocked him out of bounds. A good block, by the way, by Newhouse. Murphy came up early, 
Newhouse cut him down and then hit him again to make sure he was down. Some blocker, because he's so low, to ward him off, you got to go under the numbers out there. That's what the two teams have done in the fourth quarter setup. Dallas and Washington. Dallas 321 points, Washington 158. They've gotten it done. 7 3 here. Far below both teams' average. Danny White. Drew Pearson. With a 47. The all time leading Cowboy receiver. And things break out, and penalty markers go up. They're going to call the Redskins on unsportsmanlike conduct. And that whole secondary went after Drew Pearson like he was a T-bone steak and really uncalled for the late stuff. Fred Silva will let us know. It was Mark Murphy, I think, that was the last one to get there, number 29. Defense, number 23. Personal foul, first down. Tony Peters. Here's the play again. Aggressive football is super, especially in the secondary, because... You're out there by yourself a lot, especially with the new rules, but Pearson comes under, he runs a six. He's a good, and the pass blocking is super. Then he hits him right on the numbers. There's Peters. Now Peters comes back into it. He should have been flagged, and was. Here's Dorsett on first down, looking for running room inside the 30 to about the 27. Carl Lorch, the first man to hit him. I don't know if anybody in the league that I can remember runs that crossing pattern any better than Drew Pearson, you know? He's not a very large man, probably 178 pounds, 180 maybe, a free agent that, as you said, went ahead of Bob Hayes' record. And his father has been very, very sick back in New Jersey. And Drew worries about that a lot, too. It'll be second down and six. Line of scrimmage to Washington, 28. Dallas... Leading by four. Here's Newhouse. To about the 25. Always wrapped up by the front line for Washington. Led by Perry Brooks. He's had a good day. Here's Joe Theismann over on the Washington sideline. That wasn't a bad fifth round draft choice by Miami, was it? Went to Canada and decided to come back to the States and has been a very solid person last year. He was the second best uh, passer in the NFC with all the different stats and ratings. Miami had thoughts about playing him at defensive back. That's one of the reasons he went to Canada. Why does anybody want to play defensive back? Ron Springs. Jones goes up the backfield now. Take the door set. White being chased. Throws finally in the direction of Springs. But nothing doing as Dave Butts. And Dyron Talbert put the pressure on. Springs was coming out of the backfield, and actually, Tony, he was running a deep corner. And Springs fell down so that actually White couldn't get the ball to him when he wanted to. Watch what happens now. Springs will come out of the backfield to the right part of your screen. He's already gone, and he will go outside and good block by Scott there. Now, watch Springs falls down, and that's Danny can't get the ball to him. Now Springs is getting back up. That's just a desperation shot. Rich Malott was the Redskin that made the defensive play. And here's Danny White back to punt. White looking for the sideline, hits it high. And hits it into the end zone. They'll bring it back to the 20. So the score, the score remains 7-3. A rather cold offensive day for both units. Neither Dallas or Washington have been able to do much. Matt Summerall with Tom Brookshire, Texas Stadium. Over on the Washington sideline, that's Richie Pettibone talking to his defensive group. And they've done a good job today. They got away with that late hit and didn't get burned. That was some series for them. Double tight end set up for Washington. Wilbur Jackson, the ball carrier. They tried to take advantage of those two blockers on the same side. Aaron Mitchell made the tackle. Aaron Mitchell out of Nevada, Las Vegas. They say will be a great tight safety man because that's where he 
where he will be the best, but he's playing the right corner pretty tough. He gets burned a little bit with fancy receivers, but he plays hard. Getting better and better. Buddy Hardeman goes into the offensive setup for Washington, replacing Clarence Herman. It'll be second and nine. And Hardeman can throw the ball a little bit. He's thrown the option pass. Hard mark out wide to the right. Jackson chased down by Dutton and Brunick. Big John Dutton starting to play with a little bit more authority. Some range, too. He's made some tackles a long way from the line of scrimmage. When I say big, that may be even conservative. He's 6'6 six, six and about 280. There goes John. The most penalized team in the league are the Washington Redskins, but their offensive line has not been tagged for holding today, and that's probably a good sign for them. The second most penalized team in the NFL is Dallas. Third and five, eight oh say eight minutes left third quarter. Harmon and Ike Forte. That's Kuzak to Forte. Out to about the 28th, shy of a first down here, and Mitchell again the tackler. Well, that's, a, that's a long running play on third and a big five. Some people have run on Dallas, but on third and five, I can't believe you're going to get away with it and pick up the first down. They've had an awful difficult time protecting the passer. Maybe that's the reason for that choice. Connell back to kick. Jones back deep for Dallas. some running room and steps high. Jones fumble. Washington has it back. Milot with the recovery. James Jones almost broke it. Redskin players injured. Back at about the 34, and then he lost the football. A third round draft choice from Mississippi State, a running back. And we said he's fearless, but he's got to protect that ball. And he comes wading through the traffic, high stepping. Nelms is the tackler. What a matchup that'll be. The Bears and the Lions, both of whom like turkey. Billy Sims is some kind of a runner. It'll be my first chance to see him as a professional, you know? Against one of the best that ever played, I guess, Walter Payton of Chicago. You betcha. Redskin was Bostic, Jeff Bostic, number 53. Somebody might have noticed him in the back. But he appears to be okay now. The young quarterback hasn't thrown any. Feisman was four of nine for minus yardage in the first half. That double tight end formation again for the Redskins. As Warren goes over to line up with the flanker on the left side, and they go in that direction. And they go successfully in that direction. Ed Jones over to make the tackle. The Redskins near a first down. Once in a while, Randy White gets high. Let's see if number 54, he's in the flex. If he gets up too high, Nick Cuzil just turned him out. And the linebacker went south. I don't know where the middle linebacker went. And it's Clarence Harmon, the ball carrier. Let's see what happened under number 53. Right. Let's see. Rooney goes over to the right, gets cut off by it. Looks like a traffic cop. Mosley. He's got new socks on. Isn't that interesting that he, he ties his, he laces his shoes so tightly that he has to tape his fingers to keep the laces from cutting him. Ruzek being chased by Jones and down by Jones. When you talk about a high five handshake with too tall Jones, that's correct. That's got to be a high five. It was a short out pattern to Art Monk, and the secondary just came up and played right on the nose, Patrick. Young Krusek goes back. Now there's nowhere to go. He actually gets a little bit beyond any kind of protection that Stark could give him on Too Tall Jones. And down the tubes. Here's the rush. Jones just hurtled Stark. Stark. Six foot nine and can jump over you. That is scary. Third and ten, 546 left third quarter. Seven three Dallas. Forte. Running in, it will come on for Washington. 
Too tall Jones again. Played very loose outside and came back inside and made the tackle. Big defensive series there. They've got new jumpers this year, haven't they? about the 21 yard line knocked down by Ike Forte and he's going to ace Tom Landry he's one of the most exciting players you'll watch <laughs> Tom Landry will never ace 7-3 Dallas over Washington <laughs> Dallas has the ball at their own 22 Last four games, Patrick, these big scoring games, they've outscored their opponents 73 to 31 in the second half of play. Points have been scarce today. Here's Newhouse. There was not much room, but he bowls before Neil Okowitz tackles him for about four or five yards. Okowitz is the free agent signed out of nearby Maryland, right outside of the nation's capital. He's some nice good looking linebacker, isn't he? Plays tough. Strange game. <laughs> Drew Pearson out wide to the left. Tony Hill to the right. Joe Lavender looking at Drew Pearson. Lamar Parrish faced off against Tony Hill. Right gets the door set. Door set bangs. For a couple, not much more. Dave Butts went across the line of scrimmage. Got so much penetration, you can't believe. Good defensive play. Watch the right part of your screen. 65 comes right through Cooper, the tackle. Rafferty's even trying to cut him, or Fitzgerald was. Pretty good defense, pretty good swarm there. Barry Brooks made the tackle on Dorsett as again. Pearson comes left. That's Drew. Preston Pearson in the game, number 26. And White backs out from under center. Lines up in the shotgun. They came in as the best third down percentage team. Almost 50%, but that's down today. They blitz the shotgun. White. That's Tony Hill. First down, Dallas. Jarris White knocked him out of bounds. Good looking throw by Danny White. And a great catch by Tony Hill who had one early in the game and that was his second one. He's the game breaker. If you keep him off the scoreboard, you got a chance with Dallas. From the shotgun, let's see how the rush comes. The blitz came from Peters, the safety man came. White moved up in the pocket. You don't see him move up and throw much. Did a good job on this. Tony Hill out of bounds, stops the clock. 324. Broncos 20, Seahawks 10. First down, Dallas. Pearson started in motion. The fake is to Dorsett. They throw deep to Pearson. Kicked off by Lamar Parrish, who long has been one of the best cornerbacks in the league, still on his feet. And the Redskins take over at their own 47-yard line. Jim Cooper made the tackle. Washington owns it. That's Lamar Parrish's second one. He now has seven for the year. He had the short zone responsibility. He had deep help on a, on a corner route by Drew Pearson. And the ball hangs up there. I don't believe Danny White thought there was going to be any problem with it. Guess who shows up? Lamar Parrish. <laughs> Bounced it. Got the good rebound. Washington owns the football. Obvious pain. Here's what happened to it. Okay, that's Brooks making the charge. He gets cut from the outside. Somebody blocking down on him. He had to help from the field, too. First down, Redskins on the interception by Lamar Perez. Again, go to a double tight end offense. Don Warren, Rick Walker, both on the right side, and they run in that direction. Robert Jackson gets about three. Gets into Dallas territory before he's cut down by Randy White. Well, how did Randy White get into the play? He was up close on the line of scrimmage this time. The flex was by the other tackle. And somehow Randy White chased it down from behind. 
Washington leads the NFL in pass defense. They are 27th in the league against the rush. They are, they're allowed an average of 12 completions a game. That is an incredible statistic, the way that people throw the ball around these days. That's a tribute to those players in that secondary and also to the man who coordinates it, Richie Pettibone. 7-3, Dallas, who's heading back to throw, looking for some place to go. Can't find it. His arm started forward. It's an incomplete pass. It's an incomplete pass. He was hit by Ed Jones. But you can see that young Mike does not have the movement in the pocket that a, that a healthy Feisman does. And now the Dallas linemen are saying, okay, he's not a scrambler. He's going to set up in the pocket. Let's lay the ears back and go get him. And here's the way they do it. Watch Randy White on your right side. He's stunning with Martins going to the inside. And they are coming four abreast and all big. Cutting. And now Ed Jones. Yeah, the arm was moving forward, all right. That's a good call. Not a popular one here in Dallas, but a good call. Jack Pardee with obvious concern. Hi, baby. Mike Forte and Clarence Harmon behind the quarterback, Kruzek. Warren comes in motion. Kruzek drops, throws. Intended for Ike Forte and complete. Anthony Dickerson was with him. And Washington will once again have to punt. Ernie Stockner must have really talked to Ed Jones at halftime again. That time Jones went to the inside. And Kruzak just did get the ball off before Jones had him by the foot. The Redskins do not have another quarterback listed on the roster. Eisman would come back, I guess. He's on the sideline in a warm-up jacket, still limping. Where's Billy Kilmer today? It's a scary thought, isn't it? Jurgensen's house. <laughs> 218 left in the third quarter. Cowboys seven, Redskins three. Got a good kick. Come on, Jones at the nine. From Dallas Hickman gets out to about the 18. Covered the ball up, heading down that time. He had both arms around and heading for the dirt or the turf. Rick Walker made the tackle. St. Louis, New York next week. Redskins will visit Atlanta, Minnesota at New Orleans, Tampa Bay against Green Bay, and Philadelphia against San Diego. Stop trying to stop San Diego. You'd have to open up in a nickel defense. You know, if they throw the ball every play. They do get it moved. Thanksgiving Day, Chicago Bears against Detroit. Share some turkey and some football with us. At the Silver Dome. First and 10, 207 left third quarter. Ball at the 18. Dallas has it. Danny Wright still the quarterback. Newhouse and Dorset behind him. That's Dorset. Joe Lavender comes up from his cornerback spot, and Dorset gets a couple. Marty Coleman helped out. Bird Lavender is a tall, slender-looking person from San Diego State, but he can play corner, and he's a tough tackler. That time, Dorset thought he'd bounce outside. It's actually a, an attempt to trap up the middle that was closed off. What's Dorset have rushing so far? 47 yards on 15 carries. That's hard work. He has had difficult days against these Redskins in years past. Second and eight. He got two that time. Minute and a half left, third quarter. Set moves behind Newhouse this time. Reverse to Drew Pearson. Monty Coleman out there with him. Drew looking for some place to go and wisely just jukes out of bounds. Facing Tony Peters. His friend Tony Peters came over, huh? Pretty good recovery by that Washington team. It looked like it had a lot of yardage written on it. Here's the handoff. Tossed back to Dorsett. The handoff to Drew Pearson. Here's the first pick. It's Paul Smith being just sort of shoved off balance. Coleman misses the tackle, but here comes 23. The report on Terry Brooks is that he has a sprained ankle. Pretty apparent. <laughs> Pearson moves up as the flanker on the right side, and Danny White moves back into the shotgun formation. Red 
Redskins previously have been blitzing this. This time they don't. Fight for Pearson. Intercepted by Mark Murphy in front of the Cowboy picks. White for the third time is intercepted. And again, that Redskins secondary waits and plays the ball. This time Murphy came out of nowhere. He's the big safety man. Watch this now. Pretty good blocking. Around the horn comes Butts. They handle him. That's Lawless or Rafferty on him. Here's the throw. Murphy waits till the ball's up there, and that's hanging a little bit. That ball stayed up there a while. And the Redskins again after an interception. The last time it was Parrish. And now this one gives them possession in Dallas territory at the 47. First and 10. It's Danny White's left shoulder. It was really one his right shoulder. So that's not an excuse. Wilbur Jackson, Clarence Harmon, the running back. That's Harmon, reverse coming. And Mike Hegman spoils everything. Kenny Harrison was the Redskin who wound up with the football, but he was lucky to hang on as Hegman. Hegman went right through the play. Watch this. They thought, well, if they've run one, here's the toss back. Here's the end around, and Hegman's right in the middle of the play and almost ended up with a handoff. Guess who just walked in the booth, Billy Kilmer. Well, you asked for him. I wondered where he was, and now we know. Looks pretty good, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Always did. Ball back down to Washington 45. Second down and 18. Is it? A screen pass. Clarence Herman. Redskins have. Possession of the football stopped by Anthony Dickerson back now in Dallas territory. Mr. Kilmer now has the headset on. And Billy, what do you think so far? You see a better defensive type game than this? Well, it's like a uh, Redskin Cowboy game always is a big defensive battle and tough and it's rough. And uh, I I'll tell you, uh, Krusek's done a pretty good job coming in. He hadn't played all year. And, uh, you know, he's he's going to be uh, a fine quarterback. I just you still follow the game uh, religiously, don't you? Well, I watch it on TV down in Florida all the time. Okay. You know, I know what things are going on every now and then. Good to see you again. I heard know. you need somebody needed me, and he yes. So I said, I'd come over here and see you, boy. Do you have a uniform that still fits? No. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, it's good to see you, good buddy. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, William. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Dallas 7, Washington 3. We now pause for a word from your local station. Fifty-two yard by James Jones set up a touchdown run by Dorsett of uh, two yards. That was the Dallas scoring. That defensive line is getting ready to really put the heat on third and a little bit long. And Cowboys lead seven to three. It was third and six. One more quarter of football left to play. Dallas up in blitzing position. Long count. Huh. Put a lot of heat on, all right. They didn't even get the snap off. <laughs> that is pressure. But Saul's getting back up. He said, you guys jumped the two counts ahead of the play. I would like to be a young quarterback out of Boston College. Ball start. Offense number like 15. <laughs> Third down. <laughs> Of course, he was, he was five years in the league. He played behind Terry Bradshaw forever. He's the only guy, is that right, eligible to collect the pension without playing it down? When he was at Pittsburgh. He's getting a lot of work today. Dallas again on third down, taking that blitz, moving around in the secondary waters. And Randy Wright all over, picked off by Larry Cole in the air. And he'll go in. Larry Cole. His first interception. A left-handed spike. And he is no longer a member of the Zero Club. He just he just blew his identity, didn't he? Randy White hit Kruzek. The ball popped into the arms of Larry Cole. And the veteran from Hawaii streaked into the end zone. Did you see Randy White come off the ball that time? It looked like he was early again. Part of your screen, that's 54. From Wilmington, Delaware. My gosh. The quarterback never had a chance, and here comes Larry Cole. 
Oh, you want to see an egg beater run? Look at this bow legged guy. Go at it. Huh? Johnny Waters holding, stepped in. Again hits. And it's 14 to 3. Remember earlier in the year, we saw Dutton get a ball and go for a touchdown. Here it is. Larry Cole, this is your line. It's remarkable what Larry Cole has done. He's had four touchdowns in his career, four interceptions, and the ball better gets Washington. Could they get him a franchise up there? Mike Milms, the ball carrier. He shakes off one tackler, and now Doug Cosby, and two or three more, led by Anthony Dickerson, knock him out of bounds. Here's Larry Cole. His shirt tail's usually hanging out. I'm glad it wasn't hanging out on that, that long interception run for the touch. Some guy. A guy that scores that many touchdowns against one team wouldn't want to be sloppy, would he? <laughs> he's played defensive end. He's played defensive tackle. He's done whatever has been asked. Right now, he's getting a rest. Young quarterback has a real problem now. 14 to 3 lead. They're going to really start coming. 14 and a half minutes plus. Here's Wilbur Jackson again. Waters, Mitchell, Chasing. Mitchell. Drags him down. Wilbur Jackson has been the only Redskin who's been able to produce much yardage. Charlie Waters had a pretty good chance to come up and turn the play in and just didn't get there. He says that brace and all on the bad knee, uh, as long as it doesn't go out, he says, I guess it's feeling all right. He came back from a real surgery play that kept him out all last year. Remember last year in that 35-34 game, it was... Larry Cole stopped Riggins, short on first down, Dallas got the ball back, and go for the winning touchdown. Harvey Martin leads this defensive charge. He brought up John Riggins. Uh, this is not the same Washington offense without the 230-pounder out of Kansas. You miss somebody that can run heavy in the late part of the game, and he was one of those. Here's the tossback, the lead block. Let's see how it works on Mitchell. Stays his ground pretty good shape and turns it back inside. That was a good block by Hardeman, however, on Mitchell. Got his job done. Ike Forte and Clarence Herman now. Broncos 20 to 13 over Seattle now, fourth quarter. That's Ike Forte. That'll be enough for a Redskin first down as they continue to run behind that double tight end setup on the left side. Harmon that time came up and put a good block on Charlie Waters. What's the uh, left part of your screen now? Pretty good play here, and Forte just changes gears here just enough to set it up. Well, that's a good block by uh, by Harmon on on Mitchell, was it, or Waters? Mitchell, and a good block by Warren too. Set down the linebacker, Buddy Hardeman and Wilbur Jackson. Warren setting up on the left side again. Hardeman ripping out to midfield. Stopped by Dennis Thurman. But it's a first down Redskin. That time Harvey Martin and Randy White both got caught down inside. They ran right outside without even blocking them. Watch what happens. Chazeal goes over on Randy White and somehow Harvey Martin got tangled up in the same pile there. Hermely must be on him. Hardeman was shaken up just a little bit but he gets out for a Redskin first down at midfield. First and ten. Jackson Harmon behind Cusack. Not much this time. Straight ahead, Clarence Harmon, the ball carrier. The Bears and the Falcons today. 28-17 Atlanta. Atlanta's record now is 9-3. The Lions and the Bucks. Detroit victorious 24-10. Detroit now 7-5. Play Atlanta, Atlanta, some football team. Well, they're tough. New England 47 behind Kavanaugh. And not Grogan. 
Cleveland 31, Bengals 7, Brian Seif, maybe the best around. Former Jackson has 106 yards rushing now on 16 carries. 17. He just barely got back to the line of scrimmage this time, and Kruzek will have to throw again. On third and about nine. That's going to mean terror. As here comes Larry Cole, out goes John Dutton. Dick Dickerson Dick comes in, who can run Dexter like a deer. Point scale is in. The Eagles in that big one in Philadelphia. Touchdown by Wilbert Montgomery, with just under three minutes left to play. Philadelphia, 10-7 over Oakland. Jaworski makes some play in that game over Oakland, too. The touchdown pass, or the big pass to Leroy Harris, with some play. They keep saying it's Buffalo for real. Pittsburgh says they are, 28-13. Clarence Herman heading for the sideline, pushed out of bounds and all the way under the bench. Up under Mark Mosley. I mean, Hermerly and the company on that left side are flat telling you we're going to run that way and let's see what happens. Not too fancy, folks, but here it comes. Saul, Saul got the outside, took care of Randy White who jumped there. Harvey Martin's had a little trouble as Hermerly stays with him. And there's nobody else out there. Fancy enough for a first. Ran against the nickel and got away with it. Down Washington at the Dallas 39 yard line. Again, the two tight ends lined up together on the left, and that's where they come. Wilbur Jackson for about three. Some more scores, and these are finals. Kansas City 21, the Cardinals 13. It's been a frustrating year for St. Louis. Kansas City's done a great job. Levy's put together a darn solid team there. In the third quarter, the 49ers 12, the Giants nothing. A touchdown, a safety, and a field goal for San Francisco. And the Giants, uh, in the rain, had a heck of an offensive day against this Dallas team, didn't they? And Danny White had five passes intercepted up there, 38-35. Hardeman and Wilbur Jackson behind Mike Cruzek. Cruzek. To Art Monk. Aaron Mitchell, Dennis Thurman out there with him. And Benny Barnes. Some catch by Monk, though. He knew the ball wasn't going to get there quite as soon as he would like for it to. And it jumped and went back and got it. That was an overtime field goal by Leahy. Jets beat Houston. And the Packers 25, the Vikings 13. Watch this, guys. The young quarterback has trouble throwing it because D.D. Lewis almost spiked it. He jumped up out there. Look how Monk went back to get it and knew he was going to take a shot. So it'll be third down and four. Clock running at 940 left to play. Dallas 14. Washington 3. That's Clarence Harmon. Who's close to a first down? Interesting that in two meetings this year, Washington has not been able to score a touchdown against Dallas. 17-3 to open the season, and some people think that might have been sort of the start of the air going out of the balloon, so to speak. For Washington. 14-3 here today. And going for it on fourth and a long yard. Got two down. nine minutes by the time they get underway the line of scrimmage is the dallas 31. you run right at harvey martin do you nope Wilbur jackson slips down but i believe he got the first down he Ooh. is very close let's let him place the ball it's going to be close very close he slid a little bit after he hit the deck rained all day yesterday and most of last night and misting a little bit today so Artificial turf is somewhat slippy, slippery. They got to change it after this year, by the way. Put down new, a new surface. They are. With the real grass, you mean? No, no. Oh. The team only averaged at 119 yards rushing the stands, and they come up just short. About a half a foot short, they come up, and Dallas will take over. And now what they need is. Good, long, ball control, ground, eating drive to run out the clock. It's 14 to 3. If Jackson didn't slip down, he would have had the first down. Pretty good slide. Little shoulder work on Harmon. 
first down. Dallas at their own 30. Set a new half for running back. Reducing in motion. White gives to Dorsett. Tony has some room this time. Got about five. Monty Coleman made the tackle on Dorset. 27-13 now, Denver. Well, you know who's a good young player is that Tony Peters, the safety man for Washington. He is really a good tackler and played good team defense in there. That whole secondary is excellent. To beat Kenny Houston out, you've got to be some kind of a good young player. This, I guess, is going to be Kenny Houston's last year. What a player he's been. Uh, what a great player. What a great tackler, too, you know. Second and five from the 35. White, Newhouse. About a yard away from first down for Dallas. Eight minutes now, and time is running out. The Cowboy has got the red skin. Keeping stats on that game. Seven and a half minutes left to play. Third and short. Salvi, the flanker on the right side. They go in the other direction. Newhouse will have it. Mark Murphy hit him about the line of scrimmage, but. Those strong legs of Newhouse carry it enough for a first down. You know, he plays in a lot of charity golf and tennis matches, and they put him up at the net playing doubles in tennis. Terry Brooks over on the Redskins sideline with the ice packed on that injured ankle. That's a good sign that he's up and standing on it. That looked like it might have been a knee when he was helped off. That. First and 10, Dallas. Ball at the 45-yard line, their own. They lead 14-3. Down by Dorset. An interception by Larry Cole. A fumble recovery, one of the two. I'm not sure what you call it. The throw is back to Billy Joe Dupree. That's the first one he's caught today, and Tony Peters takes him right down. And what a tackle. EJ did a sneak back that time. The tight end sneaks back, comes under the whole thing. The linebackers will drop out of there. Here you're looking at White going back. Good pass blocking this time. Here comes he has Coleman who came in on the blitz from the outside. Watch this tackle. And B.J. Dupree is a very strong big tight end. 230. Here comes Coleman right there. That's a streak. Really took him right down. And he white drops back again. Trying to set up the screen. Finally just throws it. It was well defensed, intended for Robert Newhouse. Brad Dusek, red screen right from the very beginning. He was staying right in the middle of it, hoping that Danny White would throw it. Danny very wisely this time. He's looking for the screen to set up. Newhouse has now gone out. Watch Danny. He said, oh, can't do it yet. Now I'll sort of throw it somewhere over there. I guess quarterbacks don't see a lot of things that happen at the end of the play, do they? Carl Lorch put the pressure on, along with Coy Bacon. <laughs> Four out of 16, Dallas five of 11 on third down conversion, shotgun formation, Pearson stays in the block. just played it perfectly. Danny White in. Yeah. Mike Nilms back deep for Washington. Would it surprise you to see White take off now? Yes. Rafferty is the center. Good job in coverage this time. Bruce Huther was the first man down. It's either going to be a, a holding or a clip. Uh, so hard to define between the two infractions. 
see what happens. Try to pick out what you people at home think is there's a clip. Let's see if there's any, uh, has to be. That was Benny Barnes. It was hit in the back by one of the Redskins. I think it was Monty Coleman, number 51. You know, now they throw that flag and it's weighted so that it sails right in there where you are. You know, it used to flutter and blow around. Sometimes you can make it, people think it was somebody else. <laughs> On the run back, number 51, personal foul, lifting. A game between the two most penalized teams in the NFL that's been reasonably free of penalties. Not many at all. 14 to 3 Dallas over Washington, 537 left to play. Summer all with Tom Brookshire, Texas Stadium. Here's about JR anyway. <laughs> Dallas leading Washington 14-3. Redskins have the ball, 537 left to play. First down at their own 10. Uh, Clarence Harmon attempt off to the left side again and a penalty mark down. Harvey Martin made the tackle. Take a look behind Harvey Martin. The young entrepreneur from Dallas, not only is he a great defensive end, he's got all kinds of barbecued beef places in town. Some great recovery, good play. Both the two teams in the NFC's Eastern Division who are alive realistically for playoff possibilities. Well, let's listen to this call first. number 85, offside, first down. Have difficult schedules. Dallas has Seattle, Oakland, Los Angeles, Philadelphia. Philadelphia has San Diego, Atlanta, St. Louis, and Dallas. That's Wilbur Jackson. He's run well all day today. Charlie Waters nudges him out of bounds, but Jackson again gets good yardage. That was his 20th carry, so he'll be 108 plus what he just got on that carry, which was what, about seven? Just about, maybe a little bit more than that. So it'll be second. Penalties today. Washington six times for 44 yards. Dallas, not at all. And not a single Washington penalty has been for holding on the offensive line of scrimmage, which is encouraging. Second and three. Ball to 17. Monk split out wide to the left. on the tackle and Big John who really is a load took him down number one draft went to Baltimore to get John Dutton he played his way into shape a little bit last year but it looks to me like right now he is beginning to feel at home here in Texas 78 just trying to feed him he must go through a dozen eggs just looking at it imagine being the offensive center and trying to cut him off that responsibility just then. Third down and two. 450. That's the play. This is back to Ike Forte, and he may have the first down and does. He's a niftier runner. He's an Arkansas Razorback, and he glides and it cuts back inside. Well, they've been running that hole a lot today. That was a new formation that they put in just specifically for this game. That double tight end affair with Don Warren lined up as a flanker. And they've done a good job with it. George, <laughs> George Allen shot the risk because he also won a lot of games for him. He took him to the Super Bowl, didn't he? Here's Cruzek. Here's Clarence Harmon open. Taken down by Mike Hegman. But the Redskins have their first down. Cruzek's first completion. <laughs> Big play has been the, the way to score against Dallas. Uh, of course, St. Louis has that potential every time. Philadelphia played them just tough, bruising defensive football when they beat them in Philadelphia. And of course, that was decided the last play of the game, really, on a pass into the end zone. It's tough to beat this Dallas team. You got to beat all 45. 340 left to play. Dallas 14, Washington 3. Cruzek's going to throw again if he has time. And he does. Hardeman. Another Redskin first down in Dallas territory, just across the 50. Mike Hegman again made the tackle. Less than three and a half minutes now left. You can see some people are 
rising to whatever occasion they're trying to get. It's been a pretty clean game, really, don't you think? I mean, very much. First and ten, Washington at the 49. Joe Theismann, if you join us late, aggravated that hamstring injury that he had. Kuzek has been a quarterback the entire second half. Again, he drops. As the man open, it's Don Warren. It'll be another Redskin for stand at the 30. Really a good throw by the young quarterback, too. He stayed in there under a lot of heat that time. Redskins have all three of their timeouts left. Warren's limping off. He's coming off the field. That was a good throw under a lot of pressure. Cowboys put what uh, they believe is their strongest defense against the pass into the contest now. Larry Cole included. He scored one touchdown after Randy White hit Kuzik. The ball puffed up. Cole picked it off in the air and rambled into the end zone. Kuzik. Going to take off. The sideline is taken down by Anthony Dickerson, but he got about five yards before he was. And he'll get a two-minute uh, timeout for the warning, and that will save the the timeout that he will need probably later in this drive. Looks like uh, Ed Jones might be shaken up just a bit for Dallas. His teammates look it over, and Kruzek comes over to the sideline to talk to his coaches. Jones was the cowboy that was shaken up just simply by falling on the artificial turf. Watch him try to get the quarterback, 72, and he will fall down. You have to understand that is harder than falling on pavement because this stuff bounces back and actually resounds and rebounds against you. Second and six. A minute 58 left to play at the Dallas 27, 14 3. Cowboys lead Washington. Point scale. He had a lot of green in front of him if he could have. And did he take a kick at the ball? This young man's a very good young football player and a hard hitter in that defense. This ball hits him right in the numbers. You don't get that many shots when it's thrown right in there. Let's see what kind of pressure was put on number 15. Comes Larry Coles after him. Gets part of him after the throw. Bruce Thornton has replaced Tutal Jones at defensive left end. And now Tutal's back. Thornton's out. 153 left. That interception and run in by Larry Cole might be a very large one indeed. It certainly could be. The other touchdown was scored by Tony Dorsett from two yards out. After a 52-yard punt return by James Jones. Bruzek came over the sideline just a second, and now he's been summoned back by one of the referees. He came to the Redskins, uh, I think, early training camp from Pittsburgh. And of course, Theismann is a very healthy athlete. He hasn't had a chance to do much, but he's reacted very well late in this game. Looking better and better. Third down at six, a minute 53 left to play. The line of scrimmage is the 27-yard line of Dallas. Cowboys leading 14-3. He's six foot two, and look how small he looks out there. Amazing, isn't it? It was about 208 or 210. Yeah. Now again, there's some confusion. They had to do something with the, with the official clock. Restarted, I think. Reset it. It shows a minute 53 left to play. Redskins did not use a timeout. They still have three. Bumbo. Dallas has it. Ed Jones. Ed Jones, who had a heck of a day today. There he gets up with it. Looked to me like the ball carrier was stripped as soon as he hit the line of scrimmage. Mike Forte. Watch the right part of your screen. It's a quick both backs do a dive. He never had it. Hit it somewhere around the thigh or the, on, the, on the hip, hip bone. And Big Too Tall gives it back to Dallas. 14-3 they lead.
Wilbur Jackson, the Redskins carried it 20 times today, got 120 yards. Broncos 36, Seattle 13. Tough year for Jack Patera. Broncos keep hanging in there. It's only the ninth fumble the Redskins have lost this year. They've been very careful about that particular thing. Oh, Seth swings out in motion. Danny White gives to Newhouse, and he is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Perhaps by Carl Lorch, it might have been Dave Butts. Might have been Brad Deuce. It was Deuce. It was a Deuce. The stretch run has all the teams that are in contention, though, playing one another. In both leagues, really, I think San Diego ends up against what? Pittsburgh on the last game of the season. Right. CBS Sports Spectacular. The World Aerobatics Championship, the Battle of the NFL Cheerleaders, which is your responsibility. How did, how did I miss the Aerobatics Championship? What is aerobatics? Well, I know the cheerleaders had tough competition, I'll say that. Aerobatics. Dallas would be nine and three after this. Already won today. 11 and 1 of the Eagles. Newhouse and Dorset behind Danny White. This is Dorset. And Tony outside the 30, about the 33, and again Dave Butts, who has played a whale of a game. Washington again calls a timeout. They have one left now. Redskin players call Dave Butts the incredible Hulk. I mean, you know, even they even say that to his face. He is really an incredible hawk, isn't he? I wouldn't say it behind his back. Boy, be straight and wide open with him, I'll tell you. Jack Pardee. He missed the playoffs by really the point confrontation type. All right, loss here at the end of the year last year, 35-34, and the fact that the Chicago Bears St. Louis that day, I think something like 42 to 6. The Redskins missed the playoffs by four points because of that. They're not mad at Dallas, they're mad at St. Louis. That's true, but you know, the Eagles said that if they hadn't have had two perfect drives to start their game a week ago against Washington, they said it would have been a real dogfight. They said it is a scrappy bunch. You think about this game today. The first touchdown set up by that punt return by Jones, and the other. I guess you call that an interception by Cole, wouldn't you? I think so. They've got to get John Riggins back uh, in the uniform somehow. He's studying economics in Kansas. He's on course. It'll be third down, a minute 36. Four for a first. White drops. It is picked off by the Redskins' Marty Coleman. White comes over, Coleman down inside the 10 to the 9. Redskins have one more timeout. Does he have speed? The young guy from East Arkansas, his second interception, and he can really run. And that is four against White today, interceptions. He takes off. He played safety man in college. That's how fast he is. But he's grown up to be a big 217 or 16 pounder. Let's see uh, where White went with this. He's going for the back, going straight up. Going for Dorset. Right. You want to see somebody motor with it. Jerry Robinson with the Eagles and a couple of other linebackers. That's that's fast. Coleman is 6'2 and 230. The Redskins down to one timeout. A minute and a half left to play. This is Wilbur Jackson. Jackson. Touchdown, Redskins. down and Kuzek who had already come over to the sideline now comes back must be against Dallas the Redskins with joy it is decline touchdown Washington that's only the 11th rushing touchdown against the Cowboys Defense this year number 54 encroachment decline got a good block by 73 out there huh Jeff Williams and a good run by Jackson good wasting time getting into that hole does he Mark Mosley See who holds for it. It's Theisman who's out there to hold. Number seven, Wimps out. Mosley, who got the other Redskin points on that field goal, and now it's 14 10. And this one's not over yet. And a lot of time left. 
42 on the clock. Redskins have one more timeout. Danny White now has 19 interceptions for the year. He came in with 15. Five against the Giants two weeks ago. Four today. You know, when you have sort of the game under control a little bit, uh, you don't want to throw it really in heavily traffic areas, do you? He was looking for Dorsett. And didn't see Monty Coleman arrive on the scene. Onside kick, of course, coming up right here. I would think. I don't know. I mean, even gambling on a long pass down the sideline somewhere, if the interception takes place, it's a long way off. But if not, then you punt the ball and make them go 80 yards. It's Dallas 14, Redskins 10. He's mostly a good onside kicker. Uh, it's much more difficult, I think, for a conventional straightaway type of kicker to be as effective as a soccer star. Kickers are really different. There's no doubt about that. Well, not a, if you're straight away, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Ben Agajani and the kicking coach for Dallas. And he said one time, Rafe Septian, the kicker for Dallas, told him he missed a field goal because his helmet was on too tight. I never heard that. It's a good one, though. I should have used that myself. I heard that uh, one of the kickers at Tampa told the coach John McKay that... The reason he had not been successful was because the coach made him nervous. Staring at him, huh? Case they're not trying to be at every game. Onside kick is not successful, and Charlie Waters puts the handle on it. Has to go over 10 yards, and it did. Of course, Dallas put all their, their good uh, shortstop type people, the Boas and all. They put the, the good backs up there that are sure handed. And I guess number 41 is about the person that Landry would like to have accepted. I imagine he's the guy that holds for the kicker for Dallas. That means you've got to have good hands. Think he'll throw it? I rather doubt it. Redskins down to one timeout. This is Newhouse. Maryland straight ahead. The Redskins swarm on him. Newhouse without a helmet. Saying nope. Four or five people had him stopped, at least according to the official. You don't want anybody to get hurt either by being too late trying to stop play when it's looked stopped. That's some unusual plays today. If that had been allowed, Washington takes a timeout the last one. That'd be a touchdown by number 63, Larry Cole, and another one by number 44, Newhouse without a helmet. Somebody would have recovered the helmet, right? Think it was the ball. I've seen that happen. One thirteen left. And the Redskins now out of all of their timeouts. 14-10 Dallas. A day that's been dominated by defense. Some strange plays. Four interceptions by Washington against Danny White. He said coming in that the secondary for... The Redskins would certainly challenge Danny White and these great receivers that he's got. And boy, they have played fantastically. White is seven out of 16 for 103 yards and four interceptions. Not one of his vintage days. He's had some big days, too. Ball just didn't look like it was carried to me. It didn't look like he zipped it on a couple of occasions. Harris got one. Coleman got one. Harris got two. All right. Next Sunday, St. Louis, New York. Washington visits Atlanta, Minnesota, New Orleans, Tampa Bay against Green Bay, Philadelphia, and San Diego. Dallas on second down again. They get the new house. The new house will not get. The clock will not be stopped now. A minute and eight seconds left to play. Olkowitz on the tackle. Sooner or later, you might not even want to hand off. Maybe just let the quarterback take it and do the clock or lean into the line and use up some time without making that handoff. Tom Landry, hands cup, yelling out to Danny White, third and five. Redskins now cannot stop the clock. Out of timeouts. And Dallas will take their time as the clock continues to run with 35 seconds by the time this play gets underway and less than that now. Newhouse again, who doesn't fumble. Newhouse bangs for a first down, and that will do it. With both arms around the ball. He is 
some work ethic person. Robert Newhouse really does give you everything, doesn't he? And everything from him is a lot. That will do it for Dallas, and the Cowboys will increase their record to nine and three. And the Redskins will be three and nine. Two games behind Philadelphia. But nevertheless, very much alive and in the playoff picture. Cowboys just did get over 100 yards, too, Pat Rushy. They had a lot of trouble with this, this Washington defense. Everybody has. A very strange yep. game that nobody could get anything going in, it seemed. You know, at this time of the year, uh, the coaches will all tell you, and sometimes uh, the media types like us, we don't believe it, but there are no easy ones anymore. They really aren't easy. Every game is a very tough game. Uh, we'll be in Detroit on Thanksgiving Day. Yep. Dallas plays here against Seattle. Would you would you rather have those 10, 10 days off if you're in the stretch like this as yeah, Dallas? Yeah, I think it's an advantage. I, I think do they'll too. have 10 days to get well and healthy, and then they're going to look forward to the last game of the year against Philadelphia. We're at Texas Stadium. This is Tom Brookshire. I'm Pat Summerall. We'll say so long. Thank you.